Welcome to Dynamic Auto Painter 7. In this series, we will go through the major new features in a bite-sized videos. Today's video is about automatic masking. Let's first talk about cycles. The first is an underpaint cycle where large brushes are painted. This is followed by a dry reveal cycle, and then, finally, a detail cycle. In the detail cycle, small brushes are used, and here is the problem. We don't always want the small brushes everywhere. In previous versions, we would use a manual detail mask that would prevent the details painted in certain areas. We also introduced some clever reactor processes to create various detail masks. In version 7, we made it even easier with build and object aware auto masking. To showcase this feature, we are going to use the panel. Instead of changing the parameters inside the preset and then saving the preset, the panel allows us to change the parameters directly. These are the same auto masking parameters we showed you a few seconds earlier. A monitor will allow us to see the mask being created. For more information about the panel, visit our video channel. First, we will explore the effect of quad tree mask. This option is suitable to mask out smooth and flat areas, such as sky. Once the painting starts, we can check out the calculated mask in the panel. As you can see, the small brushes will paint only in areas of high detail and avoid flat areas. Now let's see the second option, called Structure Mask. This mask follows the high contrast structure of the image. The small brushes will be painted mostly around the edges of objects. The third option is used to intensify the effect of structure mask and should be used together with the structure mask. All three options can be combined together. This creates a mask where flat areas will be masked out while edges will receive stronger brush effects. And that's basically all for this video. Let's summarize. The auto masking feature is used to avoid painting certain areas with small brushes, such as sky, while emphasizing other areas, such as edges. Okay, see you next time.